Okay, we're going to be going over number 15 because number 15 is an interesting example. All right, so we've got ax squared plus bx plus c. I always like to start out with that. Now remember, first things first, we're going to identify a and c. So we've got 2 and 1. So that is a, whoops, I can make that look better. a times c equals 2. Now I need factors of 2 that are going to add up to b, which in this case, b equals positive 7. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to make my little t-chart. Think of factors of positive 2. Hmm. 1 times 2. All right, if I add this up, I get 3. And that's it. Can't think of anything else. I don't know about you guys. I cannot think of any other integers that I can multiply to get an answer of positive 2. Now, the thing is, when we add up 1 and, t 1 and 2, we get 3. We don't get 7. Did you do something wrong? No, you didn't. What happens sometimes is you get quadratics that cannot be factored. So in this case, 2x squared plus 7x plus 1 guess what? It can't be factored. And again, why? Because when we multiplied A and C in this case, 2 times 1, we got 2. We couldn't find any factors of 2 that would add up to B here. Remember, B is that 7, that coefficient right here. We could not find any factors of 2 and 1 that added up to 7. If that's the case, then guess what? You have an expression that cannot be factored which happens. So don't be intimidated if you see something like this ha happen. If you're racking your brain for factors, get them. They're not adding up to B. That does not necessarily mean you did anything wrong. It just means that it might